Senna. Pals. There's been a lot of controversy around this uh, teaser we're about to look at. Not the teaser itself, but the movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, Disney's Snow White. And many of you have access to being able to see the actual votes. And surprisingly, there's actually a lot of upvotes on this. Oh. Like, not very many downvotes at all. I'm quite curious to watch this. Now, as of this recording, there's only 50, 5,200 views. So we'll see what happens when... Actually, there's way more because there's like 11,000 upvotes. So the, the numbers just haven't caught up yet. Okay. Um, but anyway, let's see what happens. Let's check this out. Whistle while we work. Aw, the details are so cute. <laughs> so, whistle while you work. Oh. She actually looks pretty good as the queen. Yeah. The fairest one of all. I didn't know she was the queen. Oh. Oh. What? Uh, I'm curious. Yeah. I mean, I don't... I know they've made lots of changes to the story. Don't know what exactly they did. But it looks... The aesthetic of it looks pretty at a glance. Um, You seem to have some feelings. So go ahead. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I think the aesthetics look very, very cute. And it kind of does feel quite reminiscent of the original animation. Yes. And like the music and everything. It's kind of like making me go oh yeah it's snow white and all of that and the animals look so freaking cute it seems like for this teaser they're really leaning into that whole nostalgia like remember all those things that you loved about the animation we're going to show you them here yeah maybe you'll kind of forget about all of that stuff all of that hoo-ha that happened well i am convinced that a lot of the internet doesn't actually stay in touch with all of that i think that's like a smaller portion of the internet that is a very loud minority you know what i mean i not that the not that their complaints are unfounded i'm not saying that at all i'm just saying that if i were to knock on some neighbor's door and be like, did you hear about, you know, the what's going on with Snow White and all the controversy? They'd be like, no. What controversy? No, I'm pretending to be the neighbor. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, well, you had me convinced. You're such a good <laughs> actress, the Tara. And so, so um, you know, what I'm saying is like, I feel like most people you come across aren't like, you know, privy to all that. And so when they see this teaser, they'll be excited without any foreknowledge of everything that went into this. That aside, um, I am not a fan of the dwarfs. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, I, why ju- not? I just don't like how they look. You There's sure? something about them. No, they just look very, um, it's the uncanny valley sort mm. of thing for me. Uh, but the world, because a lot of this is very, I don't know, it, it seems like it's a lot of CG or yeah, CG enhanced. Totally, totally. Um, and so, irrespective of how it was created, a lot of the visuals are stunning and very captivating. Uh, but when you're not up close to the dwarfs, Cool. They look great. As soon as she start, as soon as she's dancing around with them and stuff, I'm like, I'm like, something looks weird as f. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but they just look so strange to me. Uh, I, I I wish they just casted actors, but I guess there was. I don't know if there's controversy around that because whatever, whatever the reasons might be. This movie that, is mired in controversy. Yeah, whatever, whatever the reasons might be that they couldn't cast actors. It's you know, it is what it is. But I. I'm noticing how they look and maybe they are deliberately more cartoonish looking to get away from the controversy. I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, when um, uh, Wonder Woman was going down the stairs. And ter- oh, Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot, yeah. When she, was like, going, when she was going down the stairs and turning into the witch, it, it was very reminiscent of the cartoon. And I thought that was cool looking. Uh, I'm wondering how they're going to re-engineer the plot because the apple still seems to be a focal point 
uh, when Snow White eats the poison apple. Yeah. So, I mean, all of the story beats have to happen. It's no, Snow they don't. White. No, they don't. <laughs> this definitely changes. I just don't know what they are because this is supposed to be a more female rah rah Snow White, and I don't know how you go about that because that that story is not intrinsically female rah rah. No. You know, the she falls no. asleep and the prince saves her with a kiss. With a kiss, yeah. He dislodges the apple from her mouth somehow. Oh, is that what it was? Well, in the ver okay, <laughs> in in the story version that I read. As oh, a kid, I didn't know that. Like he kisses her and then that must have been the, some the, aggressive the kiss. I know the apple was kind of in her mouth and then like popped out, fell out. You know, the way a, a an Argentinian girl I dated once used to kiss me. I, I can see an apple getting dislodged for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Rude, Javi. You don't kiss and tell. It was very <laughs> unexpected, that tongue. I was like, what the fuck? What is going on here? <laughs> I just started kissing you for the first time. Uh, I could see an apple getting dislodged, sure. Yeah. I feel like I've been burned so many times by Disney live action adaptations that I, I'm going to watch this. I'm just walking in very trepidatious to like, you know... Be, I'm setting the bar really low so I can be like, all right, well, if it's if it's all right, then it's great. You know what I mean? Sure. Because I, I feel like we've had so many like different adaptations of Snow White as well. In but this is action. the most direct to Disney. Well, yes, yeah. this is this is like, you know, Disney's version because we've had uh, I remember one I watched and I don't know if this is like, was it a fever dream that I had? But it was like a live action movie and it was kind of like dark and like erotic and it was Snow White, but the dwarves weren't dwarves. They were like bad guys. I like think you must have been convicts. watching like a Red Tube video or something. No, because... it was a real movie. And then of course we have like Snow White and the Huntsman with like Thor and... Uh, Yes. Twilight. I never saw those. You didn't? I don't think so. They that's, looked interesting, but I never right. saw them. Yeah, anyway, the thing that is the most amazing to me is that this has not been ratioed in the votes. Like, it has not been downvoted to hell. It's got very positive reviews, uh, votes so far. This is like classic YouTube, you know? Because back in the day, if your, if your views were accelerating so quickly, it would stop at some weird number like 311 views. Uh -huh. And it would just be, be stuck there for 20 hours or something until the numbers could like, you know, resolve itself until and then said the actual view count. But if it's got 11,000 upvotes, my guess, maybe 100,000 views already. Hmm. Right? Because it's usually like 10% of people vote, I think. And so for it to have that many views and this many upvotes... I am amazed. <laughs> I am so amazed that there's only 692 trolls who are like, boo, cool, man. This is, uh, this is fascinating. Just absolutely fascinating. But these are my feelings about it thus far. It, it definitely has a fairy book, fairy tale quality to it. Yes, you know? fairy tale quality, very beautiful, slightly uncanny valley. Yeah. I feel like that's what the All Disney, the Disney live, action live action kind of, yeah, that's what they feel like. Yeah, it's tough for a few reasons. Um, you're dealing with the um, endeavor to keep your budget low. Mm -hmm. And so rather than having to deal with like actual going on location too much. Which would be very cool. The I agree with you. Uh, and then dealing with like the weather and all that stuff. Complexities of taking all that gear and, the, and your talent out into location yeah that stuff you know and then having to build all this stuff like that's clearly you know yeah uh, and so there's that and then the animal aspect of things it's and there's like PETA and so yeah, yeah things have changed in a dramatic way and they're trying to keep the budget I understand especially if they had to do a lot, a lot of reshoots it's yeah. cheaper to do it on a soundstage in front of a green screen. So, yeah, I, I get it. If the feelings are good when you watch it, then that's all that counts, exactly. you guys. Thanks so much. I'm Jabby Koi. This is... Achara Kirk. Peace out.